Hey there guys, thanks for joining me today on another video on Space Engineers and I'm coming to you today to show you some cool things that you can do to change the appearance of your game, to change the visual experience uh, of Space Engineers. Uh, you, yeah, you might be looking at the video now and think this does not look like my Space Engineers, this looks a lot different and that's absolutely correct. There's two major differences uh, to start off with. We have a different backdrop or a skybox if you would like to call it but you know in this case it's not really a sky it's just space we've got a galaxy in the background there we've got an amazing moon in the background there and we have earth on the other side and you can use the space engineers skybox tool to manage uh, the sky uh, skybox of your game or you know the backdrop in space and I'll show you how the tool works in a minute and yeah I uh, I'll show you how you can download some cool uh, different styles you know depending on what kind of uh, setting you're trying to go for. Then the other thing here is the lighting in my game is actually different. In uh, Space Engineers, usually uh, it's all pretty gray. Um, you know, when you're looking at the space, it isn't black, instead it's very gray. And that's because Space Engineers by default renders a fog in the game. Uh, and you and I both know there is no fog in space. I don't know why uh, Space Engineers uh, renders this by default, but we've turned it off. So black is actually black. And then there's the lighting that has changed. You can see here, uh, sunlight is hitting the ship, and there is really not much of a difference. But shadows, you know, are a lot more visible. If I take a look at the other side here, you can see that black is actually black. If there is no sunlight hitting the object, obviously it's going to be black. Unless maybe you get some reflective light from a planet uh, that would obviously, like the moon, you know, we get moonlight at night, that's because the sunlight hits the moon and then hits our planet, and that would obviously happen with the ship as well, but it is overly arcade visible uh, by default. And if you want to go for that realistic look, you can change this. And we do that with the Space Engineer Skybox tool as well, and that's really, really cool. You know, there's a couple of different settings that you can uh, that you can switch between in case you don't want to go for full black uh, darkness, but you want it to be a little bit more realistic. Uh, you can flick about with these things as you please. I really like it this way. Uh, it's it's definitely a lot cooler for the uh, survival mode if you're trying to go for that realistic setup. But it's all up to you. And I'm going to show you how, these, uh, how this tool works. And I also want to take a look at another application. This application will actually help you save worlds as well as fix things in case you're running into trouble. You all, we all know the issue with uh, spawning in a spaceship in survival mode. But the ship is raging off at a, a, a crazy speed. How can you fix these things? How can you delete a ship You know, and all these kind of things? There's an amazing tool for this. And I'll show you exactly how it all works. Go, let's go and have a look. Alright, so first let's take a look at the Space Engineer Skybox tool by Balmung. This is updated very frequently to make sure that it stays in a stable state with the uh, the current game. Obviously there's so many updates uh, that yeah, these, these tools tend to, to break after a while. Um, first thing you want to do with this tool is make sure that it's pointing towards your Space Engineer's folder. This will probably be the default Steam folder uh, or otherwise, you know, if you've installed it somewhere else, make sure to point it there. Three little tabs here that you can uh, can select. You can either download a package from the uh, the uh, Skybox's website. Um, uh, that's xalan.com if I'm pronouncing it right. I'll put a description down below, so make sure you check it out if you uh, if you haven't already. Um, you can go on single image where you can select an image, or you know you can change with just the normal Skybox. But if you want to obviously change your Skybox, you can uh, you can do this here. Just point to the file that you've downloaded, and and it will change it. Dark shadows, that's what I was uh, previously talking about. You can actually set this to uh, a couple of different settings. You've got uh, complete darkness, very dark, darker, normal, and brighter. And that's very, very important because, you know, it will change it either from extremely dark to the arcade standard style. Then we also have the fog that you can enable. This is to make your game either grayish or completely black. And I still don't understand why it's grayish by default. But anyway, so this will uh, do a lot for you. And then you've got Force Shader Recompiling, FXO. And I'll be very honest with you, I have no idea what this is. So I won't even go there. So yeah, that's the Skybox uh, tool. It's amazing. I love it. You know, uh, I, I change around with different Skyboxes every once in a while because, uh, yeah, it keeps it uh, visually interesting, <laughs> so to speak. So I definitely recommend this tool. All right, so the Skybox tool is pretty straightforward. There's not a whole lot to it. The Space Engineer's Toolbox, however, is a little bit more complicated. Uh, 
with this tool basically you can open any of your worlds uh, you'll see here if you click on open you get all the worlds that are available for you now I'll just open the eclipse line that's basically the one that I just showed you with all the uh, eclipse ships that I've done which is basically available on the workshop in case you're interested let's open that file let it do its work and here you get every object that is in space uh, sometimes you'll find an object or you lose an object or you've got a cargo ship somewhere 200 million thousand kilometers away and you're trying to get rid of it but you can't because it's too far away and basically you want to delete it well you go in this list you can select the item and you can uh, choose to delete it or if you want to make some changes to it you can do that you can change the coordinates the speed uh, you can mirror it you can do all these things and this will definitely save your life now in case you want to know okay which ship is which you can just have a look here at the components and make sure oh yeah this is the ship with the uh, the two small reactors you know um, you can also add a beacon and then basically uh, the small ship will be called the name of the beacon instead you can see that right here my large ship uh, my large ships have the beacons on it and obviously that is uh, how you can identify them so in case you want to delete something but then again if something is flying very far away you won't be able to put a beacon on it so you'll have to go through these and just hopefully be able to find oh yeah with these components this must be the standard rescue ship just delete it make sure you make a copy of your save uh, to make sure that you're not ruining anything I would really suggest that because I don't want to be responsible for you ruining your world hopefully by putting this video out there you will, you know, uh, have a, a better idea of what exactly uh, uh, these tools do and how they work and where you can get them. So again, look down below in case you are wanting to download one of these because I'll make sure that you can get the link below. And yeah, I'd like to thank you for watching. Take a moment to uh, check out some of my other videos. I'll uh, I'll put a link up behind uh, behind this video footage uh, for my survival uh, uh, series uh, and some other couple of things. In case you haven't subscribed yet, take a moment to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and hopefully, you know, I can entertain you a little more with some other videos. Like the video for me if you if you enjoyed it and if it's uh, if it's helpful to you. And yeah, share it to your friends, and maybe they can uh, find this helpful. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.